Which one is the better compact flagship smartphone about taking photos and making videos? The best of 2024 side by side in multiple rounds. The goal is clear, we need a winner. Galaxy S24 versus Xiaomi 14, the complete camera test. Let's go! So, here they are, Xiaomi 14 and Galaxy S24, two of the best compact flagships of 2024. And this video is only about comparing their cameras. If you want to see everything else, then check my thorough reviews about each one of them. And I'm going to link that in the video description right below. So, for best kind of experience, I would suggest watching this episode into the maximum resolution that your device supports and kind of be prepared to hit the pause from time to time and check all the details that you need to see and what's cooking in today's menu, let's dive into it. We begin by exploring the main cameras, daytime conditions and rather challenging environment. Both images are perfectly exposed and they are in fact very similar. High amount of details and preserved texture, a triple software zoom in post for some of the areas confirms that it is all so close. Xiaomi 14 seems to have slightly better dynamic range, while the Galaxy Photo retains the better sharpness and has somewhat more details about the tiles. If we take some of the light amount away, and it is Wow, look at the tree on the right! I've noticed this phenomenon with other Xiaomi 14 taken photos. It tends to overexpose some of the areas. Here in particular, there is less contrast and a lot more from the shadows, which looks too unnatural. Texture also looks better on the Galaxy side. Nighttime photography is the last piece of the puzzle. What Samsung do here is impressive, because in theory, hardware inside Xiaomi 14 should be better. And yes, the street lamps definitely look nicer, but the colors of the logos, the texture of the tiles, even the car's plate number is a lot better visible on the left. Overall, the left image looks much sharper, but in a nice way. And I can confirm the very same performance in multiple other occasions. Maybe you would agree with me that it might be by a narrow margin, but Galaxy S24's main camera tends to take the better photos. It's quite interesting to take a closer look at the hardware. Xiaomi 14 is equipped with a brand new image sensor and the camera is tuned by Leica, which immediately raises the expectations by far. Samsung don't play the game with the camera vendor's branding, but they have been rather consistent about delivering excellent results in the past few years. Reusing their famous GM3 image sensor shows that they want to play it safe here and extract as much as possible in terms of quality from a system they already know very well. The video comparison shows pretty awesome results with both of the phones. Good moment to praise the stabilization. Putting this aside, Xiaomi 14 shines when it comes to low-light videos. In daytime, too, dynamic range is better with it, especially at this area. Results, however, remain comparable. And based on the fact that the photos are better, and even videos in certain conditions, I feel it is right to say that S24's main camera leads by a narrow margin. Let's switch now to ultra-wide mode. Colors in both phones are really good. Xiaomi 14 made photos appear too soft, though. It all remains soft even if we take another example. Just reduce the amount of light and the situation gets even worse. Take a picture at night and now we know for sure that S24's ultra-wide camera is better. Funny enough, Xiaomi 14 is equipped with a 50 megapixel Samsung image sensor. It has a size of 1 by 2.76 inches, which is smaller than Sony's IMX564 deployed inside Galaxy S24, which well explains the difference in terms of performance in favor of the latter one. Videos are strengthening this opinion even further. However, I kind of like Xiaomi 14's daytime video better. Switch to low light and, well, Xiaomi 14 shows even greater results. Notice the grass, the tiles and the overall stabilization. We have a situation similar to the main camera case, better photos on the Sami and better videos on the Mi device. So now let's go to the telephoto setups. Similar look at the first sight, but get a little closer and ouch! Why is Xiaomi's taking photo that soft once again? Let's go for another sample. Ok, well, I think we have a symptom here. Same pattern of poor dynamic range and too soft photo. However, when we switch to night mode, Xiaomi suddenly starts to shine, which sort of makes sense. 
because a 10 megapixel Samsung ISO cell image sensor with size by 1 by 3.94 versus the same 50 megapixel JN1 image sensor as the ultra wide camera inside Xiaomi 14. To say this in simple words, the telephoto image sensor inside Xiaomi 14 has greater amount of megapixels, has a bigger surface, and the lens has wider aperture, so no surprise the low-light video performance is that good too. I'm a bit surprised by the daytime video performance, better dynamic range, but this soft look is quite irritating, even though technically we can distinguish a lot more texture, and I tend to prefer the Galaxy style of the video processing as well, plus it has significantly better stabilization. So if we need to rate both cameras based on the hardware specs only, Xiaomi 14 is supposed to be the clear winner, but the magical S24 photo processing does miracles, especially with daytime photos and totally compensates the hardware disadvantage. Xiaomi 14 on the other hand performs a little better at low light, so it might be fair to say that we kind of have a parity when it comes to the telephoto cameras. The selfies are next, and I vote for the one on the left, a lot better processing by Samsung, and much more details. Xiaomi 14 tends to process a lot, but it fails to deliver sharpness. True, it masks most of the wrinkles I have on my forehead, but even in portrait mode, it looks a little weird, and night photos are confirming what I just said. Samsung reused their last year's selfie camera, while Xiaomi finally deploy a sensor capable of producing 4K video. If you want to see something surprising, here's the low-light video test. Hell yeah, looks so much better on the Mi side. There are a few more modes to talk about, with the most significant being the portrait mode. If up until now you got the feeling that Samsung's photo processing algorithms are amazing, you're gonna feel even more confident in this statement when exploring the portrait mode. Personally, I feel that Galaxy S24 series portrait mode comes really close to what Google Pixels can do. Furthermore, it's the only smartphone giving me the confidence that I get usable photo regardless of the lighting condition or how quickly the subject is moving. On the other hand, if the amount of light is not that much, Xiaomi 14 seems to take the lead. If there's an area where none of these units excels, this would be perhaps the macro mode. On S24 there is no dedicated macro mode, but even if there is such one on Xiaomi 14, results are subpar. To get proper close-ups, I'd usually recommend using the main camera and going for a double software zoom works miracles sometimes. If I may squeeze in one last section of the comparison, this would be the camera apps. On one side we have Samsung, which keeps similar layout and functions for quite a long time. I've never had an issue with their app and it has a whole lot of great features to let you take the right kind of photo at the right moment. It's clearly a 5-star user experience, at least from my point of view. It unfortunately lacks certain pro-grade features, such as the log mode and LUT support, something that Xiaomi 14's camera app can do. And sometimes it might be the real deal for content creators seeking for mirrorless camera-like dynamic range. Thing is that in order to utilize these advanced features, you better get an ND filter set, and this suddenly becomes too complicated. On the other hand, Hyper OS camera app is easy to use, also very tidy, even maybe somewhat richer on functions, and yet I believe we call it a tie for this last round. In the end, let's draw some conclusions based on everything we've seen so far. As a starter, S24 slash S24 Plus, because the camera setup is identical on both, I don't think it's in its own league about photos and portraits, not because it's not better than Xiaomi 14, it's because that in the same league we're gonna find a lot of devices such as the Google Pixel line, maybe the latest iPhones as well, but without any doubt many people would confirm that S24 is likely having the best photo processing on the market right now. On the other hand, Xiaomi 14 has remarkable performance in most of the video capturing categories and given the fact that the MIUI camera app is giving you a log mode and some more extra features such as applying a LUT in real time, I think it has the edge when it comes to video recordings. So. Um, Objectively, these two are performing so similarly with S24 being slightly better about photos, Xiaomi 14 having the edge when it comes to video recording that it's really tough to give a verdict about which really is the overall better phone. But subjectively, I can say that 
I felt a bit more confident taking out the S24, taking a photo because I'm pretty sure that no matter the conditions, no matter how quickly the subject is moving, this is going to deliver exceptionally good results. What do you think? Do you believe that Xiaomi 14, given its slightly newer image sensor, is about to receive meaningful updates that are going to improve the camera performance? And do you feel that Samsung could have done a better job by involving slightly newer kind of hardware because they kind of reused the very same setup since the last year. Well, we can carry on the conversation in the comment section below the video. If you find it useful and if you enjoy the content so far, give me a like, subscribe to the channel for more cool tech inspections and I'm Michael, wish you a fantastic way and look forward to seeing you in the next episode.